The Tale of Jupiter, the King of Planets During the genesis of time, when the universe was just an egg now cracked to become something greater, li life was just beginning. Indestructible life forms, with hearts made of steel and patterns made of an ongoing fortune known as humans, were around when Jupiter, believe it or not, was the smallest of all the planets. This was the effect of the fact that all his other planetary siblings wouldn't let him eat it, so he didn't grow anywhere near normal. Of course, Jupiter was teased and harassed because of this, and he didn't find it amusing. So Jupiter put his extremely talented mind to work and decided to change life around. He longed to go to Earth. Surely the people there aren't as big as bullies as everyone up in the sky. So when the next opportunity struck and no one and, and nobody was looking, Jupiter floated down to Earth, where he began his quest. After inhuman time periods of time traveling, he found spotted a village nearby. He ran as fast as a cheetah and twice as fast until he finally made it to the first house. He knocked humbly on the door, and when the woman opened up the door, she was quite surprised to see Jupiter standing there. Hello, how may I help you? asked the woman. I'm here in search of food. My siblings won't let me eat as well as they do, and I've been starving since, since, well, I don't even know, said Jupiter. I'd love to help you, said the kind lady, but my family and I are struggling to get by as it is. I'm sorry, we can't spare anything. Oh, okay, goodbye, sighed Jupiter as he made his way to the next house. Jupiter knocked a little louder this time, and a young man opened the door. Hello, is there anything I can help you with? It doesn't seem like you're from around here, said the man. Sir, do you infer that you can spare me some food? I'm starving, and my brothers and sisters tease me because they won't let me eat that much. I feel as if I'm dying out from the inside, explained Jupiter. I'm sorry, I know exactly what you're going through. I was robbed in the middle of the night a few weeks ago, and I don't have anything. I haven't had a good meal in six weeks. Jupiter peeked inside. True to the man's word, there was nothing at all. in the house, completely empty. I apologize, sir. I have my stairs, said Jupiter, as he walked away. In the third house, Jupiter knocked even louder this time, and inside was a man, a young woman. What should we argue with this crazy pleasure, asked the family. This is great, said Jupiter. If you don't see me, said Jupiter, I'm feeling like I could desperate pain. I'm feeling like Almost three days ago. I, we're sorry for your conditions, though we can give you some advice. If things don't go your way, take matters into your own hands, said the man. Jupiter thought on this for a second and decided they were right, but before he could say anything, the couple were gone, the door closed. Jupiter made, made his way to the nearest pond and thought to himself, This pond is exquisite. I'll be eating well tonight. And he began to eat and drink and eat and drink until the pond was empty, except for three fish, in which he left one fish on the doorstep of the three people who were then he went back the way he came. On his way back, Jupiter realized he was moving slower. He looked at him with such a little puddle. He looked to discover he was prodigious. He was so excited he wanted to go home right then and there. But he had trouble. He was a little too large to float back into the sky. He was afraid that he would be stuck on a forever. When he thought of the last couple of doors, if things don't go your way, take matters into your own hands. With that thought, Jupiter had an idea. He ran back to the village as quick as his new sides would allow him. He told us everyone in the village. That's how long he arrived. He told us Everyone picked up and put down, picked up and put down items for two long hours until all the junk was used. And then Jupiter started climbing. When he got to the top, he felt like he was starting to float. He was going home. Jupiter wanted to quicken the process, so he focused and concentrated, and he started floating back into the sky, and he didn't stop until he knew it was home. When Jupiter opened up his eyes, he still was still in the Quality. The pond that Jupiter drank is now known as the Dead Sea. The water has now been to the pit, but it is inhabitable, meaning that it can't sustain life, which I'm sure made the fish who want to live there quite tough. And that's how Jupiter came to be. 
Thanks for watching.